So I'm hoping to share some fun stories from my mission. Um, in the Church of Jesus Christ, we go um, to all parts of the world as missionaries. We offer service just like Jesus Christ served. We also, we teach just like Jesus Christ taught. And we just try to be our best selves and help others become their best selves too. And so I got called to serve in the Portugal Lisbon mission. And it was great, it was wonderful. And I guess let's start with day one. Okay, day one, um, you start out in the missionary training center. There's a few of them around the world, like in Mexico and Brazil, but I was called to the one in Provo, Utah. And so we lived in Southern Utah at the time. And so we drove up um, for my last dinner with my family. We went to the Black Bear Diner. That, like when we drop you off, it's gonna be really fast. And so like, we were gonna say goodbye now. So we're in the parking lot and my dad's like hugs my mom. I'm like, I'm gonna miss you. Hug my dad, I'm gonna miss you. My little brother, he like, hugs me and he's like hanging off of me I'm like I think I'm gonna miss you and then my brother we we like love each other and we like connect but like I think that was the first time he ever hugged me he's like a lion just huge he just like grabs me <laughs> picks me up anyway break down what happened okay so we go down we're under the campus in the like underground parking um, I get out, and the person who greets me is Sister Flake. So as missionaries, we use our last name, and so I, I was also Sister Flake. Sister Flake, I'm Sister Flake. And so she helps me grab my bags. I give everyone one last quick hug before we go, and we go, um, we go up the elevator. We walk through. We got handed tons of stuff, just like boom. Here's paper. Here's things you don't need. But then I got something that is amazing. I got my name tag. And they're like, you put this on. I'm like, yes. <laughs> and I became Sister Flake. And I was so excited. Because I knew I had just started the hardest journey of my life, but also one that would become the most rewarding. Then they showed me to my room. Well, the elevator's broken. I'm like, uh, great. So we carried my two suitcases that were my entire life for the next, would be my entire life for the next 18 months. And we carried them up three flights of stairs. Oh, uh, and we go in our room and this is where I meet Sister Abercan. <laughs> Someone called her a walking lollipop and stamp of approval, I agree. She's just so happy all the time and has so much energy and she was so happy to see me and I I feel so bad I I couldn't pronounce her name like I'm reading it and I'm like uh, uh it took me three weeks to learn that she was sister our camp and so sometimes I wouldn't call her by her name because I didn't know what it was but <laughs> so next I look at one of these papers they gave me and it says that my companion would be Sister uh, Sister Hoagie, is she a sister? I didn't know how to say her name. It's Sister Hoke. And Sister Hoke is so sweet and so awesome and pretty. She's tall, has this blonde hair, she's really good at basketball. And then next I met Sister Nance and I was so thankful Sister Nance had a normal name that I could pronounce. She's also the five foot three wonder, but that story will come later. <laughs> so I had Sister Arca and Sister Nance and Sister Hogue and me, and we all lived together in our room and we all became great friends. And that first day I was like, whoa, I think I'm gonna be all right. More stories are coming. <laughs>